Good evening, y'all. It's almost 8 o'clock here, and the, my son is finally in bed, and I was wanting to do a um, reading on someone that I've been very um, interested in for quite a while. I'm not really sure why, but I would like to look you know, a little bit more into her and maybe get some clarity on um, what was going on at the time. Um you know, I was, this spread is going to be about Anne Boleyn. She was married to uh, King Henry VIII. She was the second wife. She was beheaded by, um, uh, she was falsely uh, accused of sleeping with her own brother. Um, I know there was a magician that she, that she was friends with that she was accused of sleeping with. And there was also another person I can't think of off the top of my head who it is, though. Um... But it was all false. It was made up. Um, I want to say Cardinal Wolsey, but I'm not completely sure if it was Wolsey or the guy that came after Wolsey. Um, she was killed on May 15th, 1536, in the Tower of London. She was beheaded by sword, and uh, she was queen from 1933. I'm sorry, 1533 to 1536. Um, now, when I pulled her, her past life, um, and this would be more of like her childhood, I would say, um, it seemed kind of like um, she was very good at, uh, everybody said she was very um, magnetic. I guess is what I'm looking for. She was very good with her words, kind of getting what she wanted, knowing the right thing to say, the right thing to do. Um, you know, she had all these tools, you know, as the, as the magician, you know, the magician can be, you know, um, I know Virgo can be sometimes associated to magician, maybe because of Mercury. Um, she has the infinity sign, the animals, um, they're all at her, uh, they're all at attention to her. She has all the things that she needs in front of her. She has the pinnacle, the wand, and everything that she needs to, um, make what she wants happen. The problem is, is sometimes when you have too many of those things, you end up, um, overindulging, and it can cause a problem later on in life. And so, um... You know, at some point, um, you know, she wanted to walk away from that kind of behavior, or others really wanted her to walk away from that kind of behavior and kind of just do things that would benefit the family. And um, she was in reverse, so she was doing those things, but she was doing them out of spite. She really didn't want to go meet Henry. She had already met somebody that she wanted to speak, uh, be with, and um, I knew that she was very bitter. She had already been engaged, I want to say, even, and uh, she was very upset when that had to be called off. Um, the King of Wands came in, and I look at that as, you know, Henry VIII, um, because he is reversed. Uh, He's a lot of action, you know, he's uh, flirtatious, young, handsome, all those things. I um, mean, he always gets what he wants. So I kind of feel like that would be him. And um, he came in with that backwards negative energy. But, you know, she was also coming from a bit of a negative place with her family. I feel like because she was unhappy and she wanted to be engaged to who she wanted to be engaged with. Um, as time went on, I think, though, she became... Um, Almost full, like, because, you know, this was a whole new beginning for her. She had never been queen um, or even been in a position of being that high up of a status. And so, you know, she started to kind of maybe to, she wanted to try everything. Um, and I don't think that she cared too much about what people thought because she knew that Henry, that uh, King Henry had her back, basically. And was going to take up for her. Um, you know, she became later on towards, you know, a little bit after, before they got married, you know, in the pregnancy, um, she started to kind of be, just be unpleasable towards him. She wanted, you know, he would try to offer her things in the place of him going to go 
you know, she he would offer her this the, a cup to go enjoy herself while he goes and enjoys his all with her, his cups, but uh, she refused. She didn't like it. She wanted him to be with her, and she didn't trust it. She was very worried about infidelity because obviously she was the second wife. He cheated with her for years behind King or Queen Catherine of Aragon's um, back. Um, he offered her a relationship, um, you know, of solity of being his one and only mistress. And so he offered her, uh, you know, it was very naive offer, of course, because who wants to be somebody's mistress, but he was going to give her the finer things, you know, he was going to give her the, um, the peacock and the, the shield almost, you know, the pinnacle, the giant pinnacle that covers almost as a shield. Um, so he was offering her these things, and so I think at some point she kind of gave in, and she just figured, well, if I can't have who I want, I might as well just take these things that are being offered to me and have nice things. Um, at some point, though, the Page of Pentacles became where, um, kind of like when people get a lot of money and then they just act crazy. That's kind of what started going on with her. She started getting too much power, too much. Um, well, she, later on, King Henry started getting upset with her when she started wanting to speak more and put more opinion in as far as where who married her, their daughter and things like that. He didn't like that. Um, so um, she just did. They they, they uh, were starting to have problems because of money and uh she wanted to say in those things and he felt as you know the queen she did not have as the queen she didn't and the king he did and for her to mind her business and play her role basically and she also did not like that um later on in life um you know he wanted he, she didn't want to leave. He wanted her to leave. He wanted nothing to do with her after she started acting a certain way. Uh, he got a new maiden for her, uh, uh, Jane Seymour, and she ended up having a baby boy for him later. But, um, you know, Anne Boleyn did the best that she could to stay around so that she didn't get pushed away by Henry. And, you know, and then she also had her daughter with him as well. But that didn't work. You know, he ended up having you know the trial and them saying that she was guilty but she was beheaded and then he married um jane within i i believe five days or so jane didn't see more um at the very end you know and i think at the and on the other side it's still very bitter but you know she's still holding on tight to her four pentacles you know she felt you know i'm the queen these are my things this is my daughter this is my throne this is my and also you know I mean, it could be other things as well. Like, this is her husband. Um, she was very upset, you know, that the same thing that happened to Catherine of Aragon, basically, with her, you know, with that she did to Catherine of Aragon ended up happening to her with Jane Seymour. Um, later on, now, in the spirit world, I think she is learning to um, put her best foot forward and let a lot of those things go and understand that you're not entitled to um, just be above and rise above things. You work for that. You work hard for that. And and it'll all come in good time. And, you know, and just try to um, always ignore the, any type of negative energy, texts, um, calls, emails, anything coming in. Um, or anything that you hear from other people at the time. I mean, of course, they didn't have that stuff. But, you know, she ended up getting beheaded by things that she did not even do accused i want to say even sleeping with her brother um was one of the other people she got accused of uh sleeping with and he was also beheaded the father was the only one that i know of that i can think of on top of my head that was let go um but again you know this is the spread that i got for anne boleyn and king henry the eighth um hopefully you know you, you there was something you could take from it um i would love to have a discussion about it um, you can leave a comment, a like, um, share, just let me know if you have any questions and, or if anybody else has any questions that someone else can maybe answer for them. I really appreciate y'all, um, listening to the videos and taking the time to 
spend time with me and my channel. Um, Y'all have a great night and thank you again.